Hi, so a home appliance repair. Uh, this is our tumble dryer and it's uh, started making a funny noise so the wife's asked us to have a look at it to see if I can figure out what the problem is. So I'll just switch it on so you can see what it's doing. And we'll just give it a sec. So as you can hear, it, uh, it doesn't sound too healthy. Now, I have had to repair this uh, once before, about five years ago, and it was one of these that had gone in it, which is the uh, idler pulley that goes round the belt. So I've ordered one because I've got a feeling it's uh, going to be that. Now, this, lo this one looks slightly improved because it's actually got a bearing in, and the original one had like just a bush inside. So I think after a while they just wear out. So let's see if this aftermarket one does a better job. So uh, we'll take it apart and get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this top panel here, which is held on by two screws. And just fill up, so we'll just undo this one and the one at this side. And then with a bit of gentle persuasion, we should be to take the top off like that. And we'll just put that to one side. Right, now the next thing to uh, come off is there's some screws. So there's one screw at the front here. So we'll undo that one. And then along this back edge here, there's about four screws. There's one right at the bottom. Just down this edge here. There's one there, one there, one there, and one there. So we'll get those taken out. Right, that's all those out. So now this whole side panel should just pull back and come off. Like so. Right, so the part that I think's gone is actually just down there. I'll see if I can get a light on it so you might be able to see it a bit better. Right, so the part that I think's gone is actually this roller here. And as you can see, it's not supposed to be doing that. That's supposed to be uh, steady and rotate smoothly. If I move the drum around, there you can see that's uh, wobbling around all over there. So that's definitely the problem. Now this is held on with two 8mm bolts, so I shall just grab a socket. So I'm just going to use an 8mm socket and we'll undo those. It's a little bit tricky to get in. One thing that we probably should do first as well is uh, unplug it from the mains. So I'm going to do that now. Right, there's one of the bolts out. See if I can just get this belt off, like so. That just might make things a little bit easier. I can just go in front of this pulley like that. Right, the other one might be a bit, a bit of a tricky, I think, to get to. So it might be better off with a, an eight millimeter spanner. I might actually go see if I can get an 8mm spanner because I think it might be easier to get on than the uh, socket. Right, so back with an 8mm spanner. Now remember this was a bit of a job the last time to do. Especially uh, getting the bolt in and out. I mean it may be easier if you took the drum out but I didn't want to go to that trouble. If you had a ratchet spanner, it might be easier. But... Right. 
Let's see if we can uh, get the last bit by hand. As you can see, it's not supposed to be like that. That's what it's supposed to be like. So no wonder it was making a noise. Right, let's see if we can get this on. I remember this was the uh, I remember this was the hardest part about the whole thing trying to get this one back in the right place. I think I've got it on a few threads there. Right, let's see if I can get the uh, spanner in now. Now before I tighten that back one up fully, I just want to get this front one in a bit. Like so. Right, so that one tightened. I still the back one a bit. Right, that's the back one done. Now we just need to get the belt back on. Do a different tripod. I thought we'd be bit of, get a bit of a better shot here. Right, so this belt, it's got to go into the. You've got to grab it from the back of the drum, sort of thing. Maybe use, I'll use a spanner or something to try and get a hold of it. It's got to go around the front of this pulley and it's also got to be in these grooves at the bottom so it wasn't easy to get on if I remember the last time. I don't know if I had to use a spanner or something to, uh, or a screwdriver to give it a bit of leverage. Right so I've just got a screwdriver here, I'm just going to put that behind. I'm just trying to slip this onto this roller. like that then we'll just turn the drum by hand and we'll just shuffle it across a bit maybe another spline across there we go I should find its own centre there now So you can see that, we'll just stare. Uh, there we go, a bit of a better view there perhaps. Right, so that's the belt back on now. So it should just be a matter of putting the sides on and giving it a test. Right, just the uh, top to go back on now. two screws to go in and that should be it, it should be done, we'll give it a test. Right then, let's give it a test. Well, it sounds better than it did. So if you've got a tumble dryer and it's a hot point or whatever and it's uh, making a noise, it could well be one of these. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.